Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be daily general tarot reading for July 7, 2018. <clears throat> so let's see what we got for that particular day now. The first card that shows up, the topic of uh, this day is going to be the Six of uh, Cups. <clears throat> The second card is uh, representing the negative approach toward the day or what we shouldn't do to that particular day. Something like a guidance from Taro. <clears throat> and the second card which involves guidance here, here is what, what we can do or what are the positive things we could take advantage of the positive approach, etc, etc, the positivity from the day. That will be the Nine of Pentacles. And the last one, <clears throat> excuse me, here plays a role as a long-term uh, benefits if we keep these uh, couple of conditions here from the guidance in check that will be the four of pentacles so uh, that will be a pretty short reading for what it seems because the day is going to be uh, rather very ordinary in the sense of the grand scheme of things all right but in the same time the day will the day will offer us with a uh, uh, a many milder um, excitements, you know, like uh, spending a little bit time with friends, drinking coffee with your beloved one, etc., etc. These ordinary small things which we usually take for granted, you know. Uh, for example, the smile every morning <clears throat> you uh, you kind of see in the face of your neighbor when when you bump into one another, you know, throwing up the trash outside, etc., etc. These small. Um, <clears throat> These small things which can create excitement in our life are going to be more visible at July 7th, alright? And that being said, we could really experience this day and take advantage of those, uh, <clears throat> of those milder excitements to make our day really extraordinary and dappled with, uh, dappled with happiness and dappled with, dappled with excitements. That could be the smile from your kid or, you know, as I said, it could be as well the simple I love you from your partner and from your husband or, or your wife, etc, etc. And uh, <clears throat> generally this is the Six of Cups and that will be also a very positive day to exert a little bit of a creativity into your life to make a little bit of free innovation maybe in your home maybe in your um, in your plans in your daily routine etc etc but generally the six of cups is one of the cards which points that we need to start valuing the small things in life this is uh, the um, because that way we are going to kind of like sustain and also expand our sense of for life and for to and, and where to find happiness and on the other side we have the five of swords which is the negative approach toward the day that card points to um, uh, what was the word here excuse me guys unnecessary confrontations um, unnecessary um, open wounds in the sense of that you may um, um, you may think twice before bringing something from the past into for example your partner or your boss or your family if you want to say it that way that is going to hurt them and it's going to hurt you either and uh, these kind of stuff that basically is going to make everybody's time running worse than actually running good so that being said even if you have something to say which is going to make the environment around you in stagnation i would advise you with these cards just to keep it for yourself or at least wait for another day because this day could be really really beautiful the five of uh, the five of swords is one of the cards where despite you know that there is a um, there is a, a potential things to kind of like you know reach a balance or, or there is a potential that the the whole situation is gonna go rather without any extreme uh, we are rather prone to kind of like extract the maximum out of uh, our benefits you know to make it completely into our benefit by on that uh, by in exchange you know smothering people beneath our toe so instead of being um, instead of leading a warfare here instead of being aggressive instead of uh, being uh, what was the word here um, 
instead of bruising ourselves, guys, you know, and, and provoke conflicts, what we need to do here is what the lady in the Nine of Pentacles does. And if you observe that card, what the, what the lady does is enjoying life with all of its forms, all right? So this is what you need to do. I uh, enjoy that particular day in um, <clears throat> July 7th, Saturday, 2018. That card points that instead of involving ourselves with those kind of fraudulent schemes, if we, if there is such around us, instead of, you know, jumping into arguments with our partners, friends, kids, if you want to say that way, families, uh, we need to aim to spend the day entirely surrounded with positive emotions and with positive enterprises. If someone that cannot offer you that, for example, if your partner or husband or wife is annoying you, just go out, schedule a meeting with a friend of yours just you know don't contribute into those kind of confrontations because they are not gonna end up very well um, <clears throat> by judging by the five of swords so a long-term benefit by you avoiding the confrontations and by you kind of like milder yourself and not being aggressive at all is the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles in that particular case points that you will be able to establish a big found uh, not foundation but a state was the word i was searching for uh, a state that is going to define the frames of your comfort zone and uh, <clears throat> that being said uh, that it's it's probably in the very in the very distant future but let's say that you're going to give a very sound note to those who are provoking you that uh, you know you are better than that all right and they have to try better than that if you want to say it that way and in general this card is also it also could be a prerequisite to uh, re to kind of like find out who is there to make your time running pleasant and who is there for you to make your time running worse or running unpleasant. Four of Pentacles, this point that in the long run, when you start enjoying life more and take a note of that, they learn your lesson that, you know, scandals and fights, they usually doesn't solve anything. Uh, the Four of Pentacles offers you a really comfortable spot and a place beneath the sun in the sense of that you are going to be able to comb your wavering, establish, as I said, your estate and your comfort zone. And in generally, even if you are experiencing something uh, very, uh, how can I say it? It's not, it's not a violent, but if you are experiencing state of predicaments, uh, you will have this... Um, people or let's say a small circle of society uh, that is going to share your comfort and is going to um, is going to allow you you know to withdraw and to feel yourself un uh, untouched by the problems from those uh, arising from those predicaments so in generally this reading says guys that joy enjoying life is much more valuable than forcing uh, you know as I said these kind of situations where it is very unlikely that someone that someone is going to end up beneficial from them. So that being said, this was your daily tarot reading for July 7, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the district in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.